This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Sangan from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video, we'll be showing you guys what's new in the Android Wear 5.1 update. At the time of making this video, the LG Watch Urbane is the only device with Android Wear 5.1, but the update should be rolling out in the next few weeks to other Android Wear devices. Android Wear has always been a great companion to your Android smartphone, but Android Wear 5.1 brings that to another level, adding a few new features designed to make users less reliant on the phone in their pocket. One of the new features here is the addition of Wi-Fi. This means that even when your watch is out of Bluetooth range, you can still communicate with your smartwatch via Wi-Fi. The only caveat is that not all Android Wear devices using the Snapdragon 400 processor have a Wi-Fi antenna, so don't expect the original G Watch or the Suzen Watch to receive this feature. The Moto 360, on the other hand, despite being based on a TI OMAP3 chip, which doesn't have a built-in Wi-Fi chip, will still get Wi-Fi because Motorola added one separately. Smart move, Motorola. Smart move. Another feature that was introduced in Android Wear 5.1 is the addition of emojis. For example, you receive a text message, you can either use your voice to reply, similar to previous versions of Android Wear, or draw a single emoji to reply back. If you want to be able to mix words and emojis together, you'll still need to rely on your phone to do so. Drawing on a tiny screen can be a bit troublesome, but Android Wear does a pretty good job of recognizing my horrible drawings and converting them to an actual emoji. It's fun and reminds me a bit of what you can do on the Apple Watch. This update also brings new gesture controls so you can simply flick at a wrist to scroll through different cards on your home screen. I think it's a nice addition, although I don't know how often I'll be flicking my wrist back and forth to go through my notification cards. It's much easier to just scroll and navigate the old fashioned way and that's with a finger. Swiping down from the top of the watch brings a new look to Android Wear. You'll be able to toggle the three different notification profiles for your watch and phone, toggle theater mode, enable brightness boost, and access the settings. Swiping left from the watch face will bring up your apps that are installed on your watch, another swipe to the left will pull up your favorite contacts, and another swipe to the left will pull up Google Now and a list of different actions you can activate using Google Now. Another new feature in Android Wear 5.1 is ambient mode, which essentially fades the screen to black and white to preserve battery life. There's not a huge number of apps that offer this function just yet, but among the ones that do work, like Google Keep, seem to work really well. Hopefully in the coming months we'll see more apps receive this feature, as it'll help a ton saving battery life. Google also added the ability to set up a lock screen in Android Wear to help protect your watch when you're not around. Setting it up is fairly easy. You can set up a lock screen pattern to unlock your device just as you would on your phone. The lock screen feature activates automatically once you take the watch off your wrist, and it's an even better utility to have on while your watch is charging out of plain sight so friends or family can't snoop around while you're away. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. Android Wear 5.1 is a big upgrade for Android Wear. The new features like Wi-Fi support and ambient mode are features that further grow the platform. Who wouldn't want to save battery life on a device that could only last one whole day? Also, the ability to use the watch via Wi-Fi is a neat addition too. I don't always have my phone on me, and Bluetooth connection isn't as great as Wi-Fi, so the ability to use the watch using just Wi-Fi is great. One thing I do want to see is iOS support for Android Wear. Google I.O. is creeping up at the end of May, so hopefully you will see a big announcement there. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.